Target's loose. West Alley. West Alley. On your knees! On the ground! Tank behind your head! None of the above. Target acquired. Do you have the package? Affirmative. Dispose of the target. No, please. I have information. We have what we need. It's not on there. What I know, no one knows. It's a thousand times more valuable than anything on that drive. Please, have mercy. You were supposed to kill this guy. What part of that wasn't clear? You were clear. It's just... It's just the... what? Your guys went soft? Or is it the one guy? The new guy. What's his name? Mercy Callow? Seriously, is that a name? It's a crutch. He's the one who caught the guy. Yeah, and then he didn't follow orders. We're slipping, John. I mean, Stacy is dead, and now we got this. I know it's your ass in the world, but it's my ass in D.C., and in case you haven't noticed, it's not going well. You got us information. Valuable information. I'll be the judge of that. Thirty seconds or less. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Colonel, if this intel is right and he is who we think he is, this is a game changer. If we could get him and flip him, it would set the terror business back decades. Not to go after him, not to try, not an option. Colonel? I agree. As do I. Kyle, can your team be ready in 48 hours? Yes, sir. All right, Colonel Harding will lead this operation. Kyle, you'll be support. Excuse me? Thank you, Colonel. All right. This is black ops, not military. Colonel Harding is black ops. Yeah, a lifetime ago. It's not the same out there now. This came from on high, Kyle. My hands are tied. These are my people. We got this intel. I know you did. Get 
I'm sorry. Man. Mercy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what happened out there? We just started talking, sir. They're all gonna talk. You can't question orders. I know. Look, you weren't everybody's first choice, Callow. You were mine. You got it? All right, a new assignment came in. We head out in the morning. Captain. This assignment have something to do with the guy's information. Doesn't mean you were right. Approximately 24 hours ago, we received information that a high-value target had been captured and was being held inside a Chechen prison. But the Chechens are denying it. The target's name is Rudolf Martin. Can I help you? Yes. Agent Black, I asked her to be here. Uh, Natalie, grab a chair and join us. Of course, sir. Um. <clears throat> so why are the Chechens denying they have him? Because they want him for themselves. Why? During the Second Chechen War, Martin was hired by Shamil Basayev, the militant separatist leader, to conduct a series of attacks on civilian targets inside Moscow. Martin took the money but reneged, never going through with the attacks. He conned them. He humiliated them and stole their money, and as a result, they lost the war. Many of the old hardliners blame Martin for the tide turning. He is their public enemy number one. Our mission is to infiltrate the prison, extract Martin alive, and bring him back to the United States. Any questions? All right, you're dismissed. Let me just have a word with her. You know how to make an entrance? Too much? Maybe for some. CIA? Well, I'm something like that. What's inside? It's a global intelligence company. Basically the CIA for businesses. What's she doing here? I have no idea. I could tell by the way those soldiers were staring at me. They haven't a clue as to why I'm here. Well, they were staring at you because you're an attractive woman and they've been running around the desert for months. <clears throat> You're here because I ordered you to be here. You know Rudolf Martin. No one knows Rudolf Martin. Then why did England, Germany, Israel, Spain, and the United Nations ask you to advise their counterterrorism division regarding Martin? How did you know about that? Well, these medals aren't just for show. Yes, I studied Martine, but if anyone says that they truly know him, they're full of shit. Every sentence regarding Martine should come with a disclaimer. In your expert opinion, what are the Chechens going to do to Martine? It's been a long time since my own country sought my counsel, Colonel Harding. Oh, the slate is clean here. Is it? With me it is. Well, I think the Chechens are going to give him a trial, something public, and then they're going to execute him, probably within the same hour. I agree. But he's too valuable to kill. Which is why you're here. Natalie, your father was my best friend and the finest soldier I ever served beside. Why is that relevant? It's relevant to me. You're in a unique position. You not only know the enemy, you have my faith and trust as well. What do you need me to do? Once we get that son of a bitch back here, you'll verify his identity and lead the interrogation. You'll break him. Until then, educate the team. Make sure they know who they're going to get. What is this? It's good to know who you're talking to.
Martine ascended to the top of the FBI's and Interpol's most wanted list a decade ago. He has no birth certificate, no passport, and claims residency in no particular country. Rudolph Martine is the man behind the man. He puts people together, he moves money, and provides intel on possible targets. He is not the face of terrorism, he is the brains. The prison is located at the base of the Caucasus Mountains. This totally isolated maximum security facility is nicknamed Inferno. The prison is built down, not up, and there are eight levels. So you won't find any signs, no prison yard. Once you're in, you don't come out. Your initial point of entry is a boiler room. This gives you access to the northern stairway. From there, it's a straight shot to solitary. We want you in and out of there in three hours. The first four are administrative offices, lockers, and so on. Then there are three levels of general population. There are approximately 60 to 70 prisoners in this area. And then finally, the eighth level is solitary confinement. Martine is likely here, although we can't confirm this. This is the only known photograph ever taken of Martine. It was taken in South Africa five years ago. It's never been authenticated. He is hyper-intelligent and extremely paranoid. He puts out false information about his whereabouts. He fakes leaves. He employs devils. That might not even be him. You gentlemen will be the first to know that for certain. The guards, approximately 40, live in fear of their warden, Ivan Rudowski. Born and raised in London, but of Chechen descent, he's a former SAS officer charged with the murder of a POW. Before sentencing, he fled to Chesnia and now oversees all Inferno's operations. Once the package is secure, you're going to proceed a half-click east to the extraction point. Now listen, gentlemen, you're going to go in soft, you're going to come out heavy. I expect it's going to take a lot of noise to break Martine out. No one has ever escaped Inferno, and you better believe they're going to do everything in their power to stop you from taking its most famous guest. It's just you, gentlemen. No plan B, no backup plan, no cavalry coming from behind to save the day. Success or failure of this mission lies solely in your hands. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You didn't. Can I help you? You know, I don't think I've ever met anyone with the name Mercy. Well, it wasn't the easiest name to grow up with as a kid, but I survived. It's interesting. Your parents must have been interesting people. I didn't know them very well. I read about how they died. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. It's a remarkable coincidence, isn't it? What was? Well, the Russian that you apprehended had ties to the United National Defense Front. But I'm sure you knew that before the mission even started, right? Excuse me? Well, that's why you didn't kill him. You needed info from him. I'm not allowed to discuss details of my mission with you. How exactly did it go down? I mean, did he offer it up right away, or did you have to lean on him a little bit? Conversation's over. All due respect, Colonel, she is a civilian with no authority to go digging around in classified information. This is a decorated sergeant. Who you just cited in your report after he failed to follow orders. Look, according to Sergeant Callow's file, when he was 13 years old, both of his parents were killed, along with 300 other people when a Sierra air jet exploded over the Atlantic. Now, the group that claimed responsibility for this explosion was the United National Defense Front, the same group that your Russian source belongs to and that has been linked to Martin several times in the past. Uh, and you think Sergeant Callow is hunting Rudolph Martin? I think that Sergeant Callow may be hunting every single person that was responsible for his parents' death. The mission, gentlemen, is to get Martine here alive. And you're suggesting that Sergeant Callow can't follow orders? I'm not, but he did. Look, 
I can only imagine how one would feel when coming face to face with the man who killed someone they love. I, I don't know how I'd react, but if I had a gun handy when I was standing next to them, it might make my decision more clear. Okay, enough. Okay. Captain Wilkes, Agent Black, get your team ready. Thank you, sir. Sir. I gave you those files to familiarize yourself with the men, not psychoanalyze them. Look, this man's past is his present, and resolve is within his reach. I'm sorry, but if you want my opinion, he should not be a part of this team. <sighs> yes. Is that good for her? <sighs> All right, get the men ready. <sighs> Change your plans. <laughs> We receive intel that an armored division departed a military base outside of Grozny about 90 minutes ago. Unless they're about to invade Georgia, they're en route straight to Inferno. They're planning on moving him. Or maybe they just realize they're folks like us who might just want to try to come and get him and are taking precautions. Either way, we can't have you fight an army. Obviously, this moves up our timetable. The convoy should arrive in approximately two hours. Our entire operation can last no more than 90 minutes. We need 15 minutes on either side for travel time. So that leaves 60 minutes to get in, get Martin, and get out. Well, what are we waiting for? Through the fence. What's Sergeant Callow doing? It's a signal booster for when the guys go underground. Helps with the radio, EKG, video relays.
Just say. Do not copy Gallo. Repeat. Perfect. I'm on to you, you wanker. I know you're the grass in this prison. We're watching. Now your turn. See what you've got. I offer you your freedom. And this is all you've got? Weak! Now my turn. Burn that body and clean this shit up. how you maintain order within the inmates. All due respect, Warden, that was not order, that was chaos. Oh, fuck you and your respect. If you'd have sorted this out right in the first place, I wouldn't be here wiping your Chechen and ass. Now, I know you're pissed off that I got your position, but I suggest you get over it very quickly. I was quite content. Never to visit the homeland of my father ever again. But what you saw out there, that was my mother's side. That was British blood flowing through my veins. And I suggest if you ever see it again, you should avoid it at all costs. Get out. I've got things to do. <laughs> You comfy there? Almost there. Stand by! Stand by! So where are they now? Southwest stairwell. Yeah, everything's set, just awaiting your orders. Perfect. So what are you waiting for? Let the show begin. Go, go, go! What's going on? Sergeant, who's shooting? I, I don't know, sir. Are the cameras on night vision? 
take us off infrared. Yes, sir. Revolver Actual, this is Revolver Main. Do you hear me? Revolver Actual, this is Revolver Main. Do you read? We need an image, let's go! Something's wrong. Kill! He's down! Alive! Got it. Calling in now. Okay. Excuse me, Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Would it be uh, possible for me to look at the video footage again? Uh, we can't tie those monitors up. It's important. Warden Rudowski. Five confirmed dead. I'm not interested in the five that are dead. I'm only interested in the one that's still alive. I meant checking every single access door, but there are literally dozens. There's barely enough room to breathe in here, let alone move. He's most likely caught inside somewhere. Gordon, look! So much for most likely, Alexei. Switch all these monitors to level two feed. All guards on level two. Secure your stations. Hey, let's leave. Let's leave. I want this rat bound down. Revolver main, this is Revolver Actual. Do you read me? Revolver main, this is Revolver Actual. Do you read me? Everything that's out there is in here on these backup servers. It should only take me a second to sync up. What's this? That's transmitting the team's frequency. Did you hear that? Ma'am? I thought I just heard something. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't hear anything. Stop calling me, ma'am. Can you roll this back a few seconds? We're no longer recording. Revolver Actual, do you read me?
told we can have a team there and ready to go in less than four hours. With all due respect, Mr. President, I'm not so sure how much good it will do. Latest satellites confirm that Chechens have mobilized an armored division from the north toward Inferno. They will be arriving in approximately 90 minutes. Any second team would not simply be fighting a group of guards, but an army as well. Thank you, Colonel. They're not all dead. You have a weapon. I'm gonna take my hand away. You make a noise, we'll move, you die, you understand? I do not wish to die. You will get no fight from me, I promise. Good to know. I know why you're here. Yeah, why is that? Do not kill me and I will take you to his cell. Whose cell? Rudolf Martin. You're basing your theory that Carol's alive on this? Primarily, yes. Also, a few moments ago, someone tried contacting us on the Team Secure channel. What did they say? Well, it was just static, but I know that something was there. That's my man. If he's alive, we're going to go get him. Uh, hold on. Nobody's going to get anyone, okay? Even if this could be authenticated, there's still not enough evidence to warrant any action. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You heard the man? He needs evidence. I knew he was big shot. He's terrorist, right? <laughs> the Americans, it's always terrorist. You people must miss the Cold War. Why'd you say that? At least we wore uniforms. You don't trust me? Don't take it personally. That's why you're lucky you ran into me when you did, my friend. I can show you the way. Uh, how you say? It? Not normal way, but a back way. A back. I understand. Then you take me with you to America. What? That is the deal. We're making deals. I do for you. You for me. Is fair? No, not fair. Then you can find him yourself. Should be easy. All alone with the entire prison guard population looking for you. And you absolutely know where he is. I bring him his medicine every day. What medicine? I needles and insulin for blood sugar. You know... He's it. diabetic? Yes. If you're not being straight with me. I don't understand being straight. If you take me anywhere besides Martin's cell... I understand. So we have a deal. Let's go. Lev? Yes, sir. Get in there. Where the fuck is that? That's North Stairwell, between 2 and 3. I will have it fixed immediately. It's not broken. He's not trying to get out. He's okay here. No video. How much further? Not much now. Just here. At the end, on the right. That door, then into another. I thought Solitary was in the basement. I don't know what you know. I only know he's here.
The key? Never mind. This opens all doors. It's better than Black Amex. Not another step. Who just said that? Alexei, come in. Copy what it. What are your instructions? Change of plans. I'll give you my card if you answer. Colonel, may I have a word? What is it? You said you wanted evidence. Here, this is, um, this is moments before the attack. Okay. Um... Here. The, the key card that got us inside the prison and through the first three doors suddenly stops working. And then, here. The lights turn on, blinds the team, and the guards enter blasting. They knew we were coming. They let us in. They knew which route we were going to take. They waited for the entire team to get inside the stairwell, and then they attacked. Colonel, there's an informer among us. Did I ask you to do this? No, you said you wanted... Have you shown it to anyone? No. 
Have you told anyone what you just told me? No. Don't. Your father was a great hero here in Chechnya, Alexei. You must be a great disappointment to him. We should alert the perimeter guards. The American is on his way. He's not going to the perimeter. Yeah. Sasha, take two of your best men to solitary. Bring the prisoner here. I want him in my quarters. Yes, Warden. Are you still here? This year. I don't know. <sighs> Shit, no signal. Good, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. The Pentagon will spend $500 on a hammer, but when it comes to coffee, that's where they're going to ease the taxpayers' burden. <clears throat> Look, we got off on the wrong foot, all right? I'm not usually this big a prick. How big of a prick are you usually? <laughs> right. Look, you impress me in there, all right? You convince me. Thanks. How well do you know the Colonel? Pretty well, actually. He and my father served together. Mm. We haven't spoken in years. So. Do you know his son? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know Robert? Well, no. I mean, I've heard the stories of his death. What? I'm sorry. I figured you would have known. How did he? Uh... Suicide. <gasps> Special Agent Black. The colonel would like to see you. Sorry. I'm sorry, could you speak up? This is Sergeant Mercy Callow. Look, I'm sorry about you breaking up. Could you just repeat yourself? Mercy Callow. Is this a joke? No. You ask me insulting questions about my dead parents and you think I'm going to ignore orders. Can we just skip to the part where you believe me now? Holy shit, I knew you were alive. I'm in solitary. I'm about to intercept Martine. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Code red. Chris 
prisoners escaped. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Mercy, stay on the line, okay? Gold Red. Prisoners escaped. Are you there? Sir. He's gone. Or I can see him. What did he say exactly? He said he was in solitary attempting to intercept Martin. Was that all? Yes. Uh, no. He said something was wrong. Oh, shit. What did he say? He didn't say what it was. Sir, we traced the number. The call definitely came from inside from prison. Uh, thank you, Sasha. Why do you think he called you? I gave him my card before he left. Maybe it was the only number he had handy. And you believe it was him? Yes, sir, I do. Obviously, he's trying to finish the mission. We can't let him do this alone. 
Well, you got me at a disadvantage. You know my name. Now, who exactly are you? Okay. Guessing by your accent, I would say you're American. Marines? Say, none of the above. The cuffs on the ground by the guard. Take them and lock your wrists. That explains why they were coming for me. To move me to keep you from getting me. What happened out in the world? Take the cuffs and lock your wrists. And what if I don't? Wow, you shoot the floor. That's uh, it's very impressive. Here's what I think is going to happen. The big boy you already sounded the alarm, so right now there's more guards coming as we speak. You want me alive, so you're not going to shoot me. And if they wanted me dead, they would have already killed me, so... I'd say you're screwed, buddy. If you think I'm going to have to get out of here, you're insane! How many guards have I already killed? How many more do you want to see me kill? You can spare them. Sergeant Callow? This is Natalie Myers. Can you hear us? Is that you? Yes, it's me. Mercy, it's Kyle. You okay? I'm fine. I may have a way out that should have minimal resistance. Sergeant Callow, this is Colonel Hardy. Do you have the package? Yes, sir. But he has assured me he will not go willingly. I can, but if I have to go up eight flights carrying a 200-pound man, I don't like my odds, sir. Uh, hang on the line, Sanj. Yes, sir. Martin has to believe that we're his only chance for survival. Well, how's he going to do that? Yeah. Memory, this is a terrorist, a good one. And he won't believe you if you're thinking about some bullshit immunity deal. I wasn't going to suggest that. May I? 
Sergeant Callow, does Martine know where he is? He knows he's in prison. No, does he know he's in Chechnya? I'm not sure. He's heard a bunch of folks speak in Russian. So he probably thinks he's in Russia. He has friends there that remember how he helped them during the war. He's probably just waiting to talk to somebody in charge. Mercy, you tell him he's in Chechnya. He knows it's only a matter of time before he's killed. Okay. Is the extraction plan still in place? Yes. Look, you have 40 minutes. Chechen ground forces will be there in 55 minutes. I know it's cutting it close. We'll be there, sir. How can we contact you? I swiped a cell phone. Once I can get some reception, I'll text you the number I have. Mercy. This is the only shot we have to get you out of there. Once the window closes... You're on your own. You understand? Yes, sir. Good luck, Mercy. Miss Myers? Yes? Thanks for answering the phone. Of course. Hey, 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 hey. If the warden find out I help you escape, he not only kill me, he kills my entire family. You know, you kick me, I punch you. I think I deserve a first name, at least. What is this? When you were brought in, were you blindfolded? Maybe unconscious? <laughs> Why do you care? You tell me. Check the IDs again. You're in Chechnya. Seems as though this prison ain't enough. The Chechens have ground forces en route. We have 40 minutes to get you out of here. So you can either cooperate with me, or I'm gonna leave your ass to them. It's your choice. Untie me. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. Warden, we found him. Kyle, it's him. They're moving through the cell block now. They, does that mean he has Martine? Well, this is all it says. All right. May I? Yeah, sure. What are you doing? I'm going to input the cell uh -huh. and track it through the phone's GPS. How do you do that? Really? CIA spy stuff. I can read his text, check his email, even listen to his music if I want to. Thanks. I can't get service at my apartment. Five floors below ground in Chechnya? No problem. You know, I'm not a terrorist. You keep telling yourself that. You really believe that the United States are the good guys, don't you? Compared to you, we're angels. Oh, yeah? What about the Native Americans? Or, hey, what about the African slaves? Or what about the wives of the guards that you just killed? You really think that it will call you an angel? Would you just lower your voice? You have absolutely no idea what we're going, do you? I know exactly where I'm going. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Why do you think terrorism exists? You believe Al-Qaeda likes sleeping in caves and living in fear? They live in fear? Of course they do. And what about the United National Defense Front? They live in fear too? Yeah, naturally so. No. They hide like roaches. Because they put bombs on children and send them into restaurants, and soccer stadiums, and airplanes. They don't live in fear. You need to be human to be afraid. They're evil. Just like you. And that was voice needs lowering. YKYK! <laughs> 
You know why you're here, now talk to me. Why are you the only guard he left alive? I don't know what their plans were. Their plans? So they're a team now, are they? They'd be looking for an exit with the least amount of resistance. There it is. The exit on level 7. Leads straight out of the prison. This is it. This is the fire exit. Come on. They would have been home free. Except I had the guards seal all the exits. I think I forgot to mention it to you. Lev! Switch all these monitors to the level 7 feed. It's welded shut. So don't you guys carry C4 or something to blow shit up with? Got a grenade. I could blow up the door, but it's gonna take down the wall and the ceiling. Hello, fellas. We gotta go. How do you think they knew about that exit? And detailed information, satellites. <laughs> so that's your story. Shut down all electronic locks on the main population. Yes, Warden. Come on. What's the matter? The card's not working. What do you mean the card's not working? You're not swiping it right. The swipe is not working. You push the numbers, something. Punch it. Warden Rodowski! We have reinforcements arriving within the hour. I fail to see how sending in what few guards we have left will do. With twice as many, we could not stop them. Who said anything about sending in the guards? Now sit your ass down there! And keep out of my sight! Attention all Inferno staff. Report to the main entrance. Level one immediately. Prisoners. This is Warden Radowski. We have two strangers in our prison. The man that brings me these men, dead or alive, will receive a full pardon. Unlock all the cells. All of them. Every single one. You've gone insane. We will never be able to get control of the prison again! Never! Maybe. But that is no concern of yours. Guards? Oh, what is the meaning of this? Get this piece of shit out of Rodowski, what are you doing? Get him out of here! What are you doing? What are you doing? Rodowski! 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 
look, not to insult your kung fu or anything, but I think right. one of those AKs might have really helped us there. But I'm I wrong. checked all the AKs. The AKs are out. Oh, you checked every single one of those hundred guns. They were all out. Not a single bullet. Look, we got 30 minutes high? to get out. Care. Care. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you want to survive this, you got to start trusting me. All right. Making deals with the devil. Well, we each our own devil and we make this world our hell. You make that up yourself? No, that was Oscar Wilde. All right. All right. We got four bullets left. We got 30 minutes till extraction, and the entire Inferno prison's out to kill us. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I feel pumped. Let's go. Let me go! Get your hands off me! <laughs> Sell it right now, right? Yes, sir. And they're in whisper mode. Come in. Colonel, I'm so sorry to disturb you. How can I help you? Well, I heard we're uh, going to pick up Mercy and Martine. Yes, they got to go ahead only a few moments ago. Still working on the plan. How does that usually work? Who? decides on the location, who, who gives the order. Why are you asking? Sir, I strongly believe that there's an informer among us who knew our plans Unlimited. going in. If that's the case, then any extraction plan could also wind up in enemy hands. I came up with the location, and I alone relay that to the extraction team and Sergeant Callow. Only after they've departed, I will also be ordering all mobile devices confiscated. 10 minutes prior to departure time, while simultaneously shutting down internet access on the base. Satisfied? Yes, sir. Thank you. Colonel, I was sorry to hear about Robbie. I didn't know. If you please. Prep the interrogation room in anticipation of our guests. Of course. Save the bullets. Are you sure? No. All right. Here we go.
what's going on. You done? I'm done. Okay, awesome. Extraction team leader, your goal for launch. Power control lever's going to fly. Revolver, actual revolver 16. We have departed for extraction. Almost out of here. All right. Bellis, Tony, Frank. All right. We don't need to do this, do we? We do? We gotta do it. Okay. Two at a time. All right, well. We were given an option to bring you in. Dead or alive. Choose. Anyone ever chosen dead? Let's come. King of the Inmates. Look, I, I don't think we need to... Hold up. Are you afraid of me? <laughs> what? You can't hear me up there? You said, are you afraid of me? When I was a boy, a gang broke into my home, murdered my father, raped my mother and sisters, tortured me, left us all for dead. I was the only survivor. When police found me, they say gang would most likely come back to kill me. Because I was witness. I was dead. I wasn't scared then. I'm not scared now. Oh, that was a very touching speech. Just give me a second with them real quick. You and me. You keep the others back. If you win, you get me dead. And him alive. As you wish. All right. Um, can I talk? Just can I just talk to you for a second, Ali? Look, I just I think you got hit in the head a lot. Keep an eye on the other one. This is a terrible idea. Just that guy. That guy. You got four shots left. Anything happens to me, you get to the extraction point. Trust. Sir, satellites confirm the Chechen army should arrive at Inferno in approximately 30 minutes. They picked up their pace. Ah! It should be over very soon.
All right. How about instead of one pardon, we all get out of here? What are you talking about? I got the key to the front door. Right here. Robert was sick. After returning from Afghanistan, he would complain of headaches, nausea, but mostly nightmares. I told him it was stress being in combat, that I had gone through what he had, and no, it would all pass. But it didn't. I brought him in for tests, and the doctors at the VA pronounced him healthy, that all he needed was some rest. I believe him. Robert didn't. Um, he would act out, lose his temper. And I, I told him, you got to stop acting like this and, and grow up. <sighs> it was two weeks before we found his body. I'm so sorry. I... Worse than losing a child, Natalie, is having someone convince you to side against him. and there's been an explosion by the front entrance. The prisoners are escaping. Warden, did you hear me? The guards are outnumbered. Warden! The extraction point is approximately one mile north through that forest in a burnout village. We got about ten minutes.
I guess your new friend just took off. <laughs> Let me tell you something. These terrorists, they're not as loyal as they used to be. <laughs> so you think you defeated my prison single-handedly? Well, you forgot about one thing. Flight 19. Your tattoo. That's the flight number, yeah? You also mentioned the United National Defense Front. Bombs on planes. It's the only airline to be hit by that group. Who did you lose? My parents. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, I think you should hold on to this. They shoot me on sight. Let's go. There's an eagle. Point five oh. early. They're not just early. They're not even supposed to be here. Are you texting? We need to find another route.
We're still in the process of gathering all pertinent information. At this time, it appears the man currently in custody is not Rudolph Martin. It is someone employed to be his double. Did you learn something? Yes. Thank you. Come in. The Gobrex. 1836. It's worth $50,000. Yes, you know your coins. I collected as a kid. Did you? No. My father did. This was his coin. So, how are you feeling? Pretty crappy, to be honest. But I'll be okay. How's, um, I don't know what you're calling him. Oh, we're calling him the Martine Double. Not good. Actually, um, he's in critical condition. What does it matter anyway? Mercy, it matters a great deal. Listen to me, okay? This this could be a very high value asset. If he survives, I mean, you said yourself he knows Martine's work. He could know his his location, his connections, possible targets. I mean, the list goes on. We won't know for sure until we talk to him. But this this could be a very good thing. I I don't want to um, take up too much of your time, but I I just. Um, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I was wrong about you. Um, and what you did was nothing short of a miracle. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You saved my life. I feel better. Marcy, what exactly happened at the extraction site? Do you have a sec? Yeah, I was going to stop by the infirmary on my way out. You're leaving. I already called back to Washington, but I got a couple minutes. What's up? I don't really know how to begin. Earlier today, when I was watching footage of the team, it was, it was fairly obvious to me that we had been set up. Excuse me? What? The Chechens knew that we were coming. Well, you, you have this on tape. Well, it's not so cut and dried, but, but yeah. I went to Colonel Harding with what I had, and... And? And he didn't, he didn't believe me. After we found out that Mercy was alive and we were planning the extraction, I went to him again. Why? Because I was worried that if we did have an informant, then the extraction would also be compromised. Colonel Harding assured me that he was the only one that knew the exact details and that he alone would relay the information. I just spoke with Mercy. He said that the Chechens arrived at the extraction site at the exact time he did. Kyle, it wasn't a coincidence. Look, these, these are photos of the troops' movements. They were making a beeline for Inferno. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, they changed course. They went straight to Martine and Mercy. And you think Harding told them? I know that it sounds crazy. I mean, uh, God, I've known this man my whole life. It's just... I think he blames the military for misdiagnosing his son. Enough to commit treason? I know how it sounds. It's just he was the only one who knew the exact details. I'm going to input the cell and track it through the phone's GPS. How do you do that? 
Really? CIA spy stuff. I can check his texts, read his email, even listen to his music if I want to. Natalie? You all right? Yeah. Fine. Hell of a mess. You shouldn't have gone and got yourself captured, Victor. Can I see him? Hey, what's going on? Not what you think, Sergeant. Your clearance only goes so high. I'm just following orders. Come on now, Mercy. what I want, for you or for the team. Was he trying to kill you? Because I know how to get to Martin. My real name is Victor. Mercy Callow. <laughs> Mercy, that's your name. You laugh it up. I... It suits you quite well. You're all set, Sergeant. That's it? Is there anything I need to avoid? Getting shot? Sergeant Callow. Yes, sir. It is, Sergeant. Have you given any thought to what's next? No, sir. I've never been given a choice of assignments in the past. And what if that changed? I've been asked to put together a new team, and I'd like you to be a part of it. Doing what, sir? What you're good at. This life is 
It's not for everyone, Mercy. It wasn't for Natalie. It wasn't for my son. They paid with their lives, and there's a good chance to pay with yours. Uh, no one would blame you for getting out now. I understand the risk, sir. <laughs> but there's something worse than losing my life. What's that? Living with the knowledge that I could have helped, but chose to get out. Then what are we waiting for? Uh...